Hey, Brandon Allen here at Allen Music in downtown Paducah, Kentucky. And uh, we're coming to you with part two of our um, custom shop tele assembly. So I'm here with Bryce, I'm here with Jake, I'm here with Sam. And today is gonna be our mock-up assembly. Uh, we're just gonna put everything together, see how everything fits, um, and just kind of uh, make notes of what adjustments we're gonna need to make uh, to get this guitar to a playing guitar and a sellable guitar. So uh, Bryce, what's uh, step one here? So the first thing I like to do is trip on the floor. <laughs> is just check the neck and the neck pockets. So what you would want to see ideally is no shift in it. This has a little bit of shift in it. Now it can work, but under tension, it may shift a little bit. I've had this happen to me. And you want your strings to be straight. So if it does that, strings aren't gonna be straight. So fortunately, we have an amazing luthier. His name's Dave. And um, he can do things like shims to tighten up the neck joint. And remind him what kind of neck we've got here, Bryce. Ventera 60s roasted maple. All right, and that's uh, made in Mexico, right? Mm -hmm. Ventera 60s. And what kind of body do we have that we're working with it's again? It's a classic series. So this is what Fender has available right now. Um, so they just need a little bit of modification too. It never goes together exactly the way it's supposed to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, every every piece of wood is is, is its own piece of wood, that, and we've got to work to mesh it all together. So um, step one, what are we gonna do with this, Bryce? What are we gonna do for step one? Well, we just check that. So <clears throat> probably what we'll do. So we kind of, we check the fit on that. We know what we need to do for that. So the next thing that we'll check is we'll kind of get the bridge assembly together. We'll get the pickups put in there. Um, we'll get the neck pickup put in, that wire run through. We'll test the tuners. And we'll also test the ferrules on the back. So, and we'll just kind of mock it up and then we can make some marks of where we need to drill and whatnot. All right, let's get to mocking. What do you got? What are you working on over there, Jake? And we have these Fender Tex-Mex pickups here. Start putting this bridge pickup into this bridge plate we got. We've already uh, put the screws, little rubber dudes in there. And while Jake's putting the uh, bridge pickup into the bridge plate, um, which by the way, uh, what kind of, uh, you said the pickups were Tex-Mex? Mm -hmm. And uh, so the, um, Tuning keys that Bryce has picked out here. What do we got, Bryce? These are uh, vintage staggered tuning keys. All right. So the one thing about the vintage is <laughs> you gotta <laughs> drop it. <laughs> is they have these? Um, I can't remember the name of these. Maybe the ferrule. Ferrules. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a ferrule, but um, bushing. Bushing. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> the word. So the bushings are not screw in; they're they're press in. Oh, nice. So you kind of. Sometimes you have to use a tool, sometimes you don't. Beautiful. So you see they basically pressed in all the way, so. Mm -hmm. We may have to use a little clamp to get it all the way down and seated, but this is, we're just test fitting. So we got these vintage, kind of a Cluson style tuna machine mm -hmm. uh, with the press in bushings that are and they're going nicely. They're staggered, so we don't need string trees. Nice. So that means that um, the tuners will have a grade to where there will be more tension on the G string. B and E down here where you would normally uh, need a string tree. So it'll be higher here and lower here. And the cool thing that I love about this project is all of these parts came from the dealer portal. And like these tuna machines, get a glimpse of that. As Jake is installing the pickup and we've got the Tex-Mex pickups. So this bridge plate is, um, Mm 
vintage Tele, three saddle, chrome. And all these parts you can buy at allenmusicshop.com or come down to 215 Kentucky Avenue and Bryce or Jake or any of our technicians, Cord, Fate, Andrew, Sam, can set you up with all the necessary parts to build your guitar from scratch. All right, so Bryce, what you doing? So, this is a wood clamp. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's one of the ones that you can print. I like these better, the ones that you can kind of use a, your trigger finger. Um, the ends on here are soft on this particular one, but on the ones you have at home, you may need to, to use um, a rag or a block of wood or something. But this will help you get these seated really good into the wood. Nice. You can also use one of these fretting hammers to use the plastic end, and that will help you get those bushings in there. Okay, so the next thing that we can test. Um, and if you don't have the clamp, if you don't have the fretting hammer, just a little rubber mallet, and you could put like your, your guitar polish cloth over the metal, and then just tap it with a rubber mallet, right, Bryce? Yeah. Yep, you can do that too. This particular clamp that we use is uh, Irwin Quick Grip, and then the uh, fretting hammer, obviously. But yeah, like a rubber mallet would do the trick too. It... So it's kind of hard to mess up these tuners because um, they only pretty much go in one way. They have a end piece and then they have a starting piece. Nice. And then one side is ground off, so you have a decorative end, it's ground off, and then all of those pieces fit together between all the rest of them like that. So there shouldn't be any problem with any fitment issues here. I'd just like to check and make sure. So at this point, what you would want to do is you probably want a neck cradle. We're not doing the drilling right now, but you would want to try to line them up as, as, as even as you can, possibly tape it down with some low tech masking tape. <clears throat> and then um, you can take a, a small drill bit and make a little ind indication of where you want to drill, or you can take a pencil and then um, Mark your drill bit to probably about half the depth of what your, mm -hmm. your screw is, three quarters, <clears throat> with a piece of masking tape, and then drill that in. And then um, you can put your tuners back in, and your tuners will be installed. All right. As you can see from this angle, if I can hold it in there right. <laughs> Come on now. Need one more hand over there, Jake. <laughs> you can see how they're staggered right yeah you see that on the camera that alleviates the need for string trees because as it gradiates down lower as you get to the low e <clears throat> i'm sorry high e so that there's more break angle on the nut so i wanted that because it would give us a cleaner look on the headstock yeah which is a very beautiful headstock with that roasted maple right mm -hmm. all right what do you got going over here jake um uh, i got that bridge pickup in there Spacers and all. Cool. And we'll set the height, you know, once it's on the, right. on the actual guitar itself. But yeah, we actually put this on, on the guitar today. Nice. All right, what's the next step, boys? We do have this bridge assembly over here that we need to at least get a head start on, put it together. Okay. Now, we're not gonna do any wiring today, um, but we can at least uh, get a rough idea of how everything's gonna get laid out. Got a nice little bridge plate here. Got our two pots. And we also got our uh, switch here. This is a classic three-way switch like you'd expect any good telly to have. Uh, 
All right, so what we got here is an original vintage Tele control plate. As you can see the part number there. And there's the control plate. And what else we got? It's gonna go into that control plate. We got the uh, five-way switch and a couple of uh, CTS 250K pots. Okay, and all from the Fender Dealer Portal, right? That's right. And 250K, um, for anybody who's not a guitar nerd like us, uh, that's a very standard um, spec for any Fender build, um, especially stuff with like single coils. All right, so we got the switch in there lined up very good. We got the holes. We're just gonna get those started. And so here's the switch. It's an original three-way switch, vintage. Um, and there's your part number. This one's made in Mexico. You could put a four-way switch in if you wanted to. We've got a four-way switch in stock if we wanted to get really fancy, right guys? Yeah. Who was that? Uh, Merle Haggard. I mean, that's oh, the, that's right. We yeah. had that. We had that original. The, the uh, tough dog tally. The tough dog tally that had the four way. Which I mean, that's the beauty of this whole thing, you know. I mean, we're building this from scratch, so we can yeah. do whatever you want. And you're from gonna have to like it <laughs> from itch. Hey, so Bryce, the Merle Haggard tough dog that had the four way. What is the significance of the four way? Like, why did he pick that? So the four way puts the when you have both pickups together. Mm -hmm. Normally, it's in parallel, which means they're working independently of each other at the same time but when you put it in the four-way that means they're working in series so they're working like they're working together at the same time so it's, they're not working independently they're working together so it, it's almost like a big humbucker oh wow is what you created cool yeah. there's a wide magnetic field between the two pickups so that's why you get more output and uh, more mid-range and stuff like that because it's just inherently those are two inherent characteristics of doing that firing cool Another thing that we can do is before we put the bridge on or anything on top is put the, the ferrules in the back. This is a string through guitar. So we're just going to use our little fretting hammer here. And these will not sit all the way flush. They have a lip on them. Sometimes what I like to do is, they all have to go in there, but I try to just, because there is little tolerance differences between all of these little things. There's no way to make two things exactly the same. So I like to go through and just find the one that fits the best for that particular hole. We are working with a natural material. Right. And these are yeah, right there. original Tele ferrules uh, made in USA on this part. So it should be right. USA is good at making ferrules. <laughs> and I am using the plastic end, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> but we are going to use this end to put the first nick in. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to relic this thing, are we? Look, see, that one went in with oh, nice. just thumb. Nice beat. It's got to make that. Yeah. All right. So while the ferrules... And you don't want to just whack it. You know, like this... <laughs> yeah, just left just, tap. Just left tap. So that's looking pretty cool. There's Jake in the in the mirror there. <laughs> so this didn't take me long at all. Like I said, we, um, we're not doing any wiring today, but I did get it started. Switch and the two pots, they dropped right in. Fit secure. Did everything <coughs> it's supposed to. And um, we'll save this part for last, but we got our vintage style switch tip. This one also came with as well a um, strat style switch tip. I think this was really a really cool. Sorry to interrupt. Hey, we can do whatever we want. <laughs> it is our talent. Yeah. yeah. You can put any switch cap you want in. Hey, where's the package for those pots? There's CTS pots that we keep in stock for repairs and stuff like that. But this is the same thing that Fender uses, so we are staying true to spec. Yeah. Okay. Regard. And what kind of pots are those again? So these are CTS 250K. If you're new Pardon. and you're wondering where that is, it's a 250K. We got a volume and a uh, tone.
taper here and uh, like I said, 250K is what you would typically find in any Fender, be it a Stratocaster or Tele or really any single cool, cool, cool. style guitar. Cool. And we'll probably put a point forty-seven microfarad uh, cap. cap in there. We've got some that are like 200, uh, maybe they're 100 volt. It's kind of overkill for this, but they do sound good. And also these are split shaft pots. Um, normally for a set screw, you would use solid shaft, um, but this will just give us, we kind of have to be careful when putting it on there because the screw can go through the middle and it won't hold on, but you can get uh, more versatile with your knob choice. Okay. And so also comment below anytime you guys have an idea. Uh, hopefully you like and subscribe to Allen Music Shop. And um, if you've got an idea of the your favorite type of switch, your favorite type of pot, um, your favorite type of cap, um, we wanna know about it. Um, Cause we're just, uh, we're building this with just um, parts that are available, but um, we love the concept of being able to mod shop your own guitar and make it yours. And so um, all these guys uh, are um, lead guitar players in bands. And um, Sam just bought, just last night, um, from Allen Music Shop. Yeah. And original 50s. Yeah. Right? Not, not an original 50s. Right. I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> So he got the original 50s Butterscotch Blonde last night to add to his collection yeah. and uh, traded in his Mod Shop guitar. Which, which I loved. Yeah. It, it hurt me. But, so um, his 2020 Mod Shop. Yeah. But so these guys know tellies and um, we have a lot of fun, um, you know, parting them out and uh, creating and recreating, which you can do as well. So um, I just noticed one more thing. What's that? So this is a no load tone pot. Did you mean to pick one of those? Mm hmm. Okay. So it's taller, it's a longer shaft than the first one. Mm -hmm. So that may bother some people, it may not. You also sent the, the washer, the nut. Yeah. Before you change the height of that seat. Mm -hmm. So it may sit lower. But that could cause some grinding clearances issues with the uh, wiring for the output jack here. Okay. So just something to think about. But that's the nature of the beast when you're, you know, essentially building your own guitar from scratch. You, yeah, um, and we might make some changes as we go. Like I said, this is just the mock-up that um, we're kind of seeing what goes together, how it goes together uh, before we start sod. That's this is why we highly recommend uh, mock-up uh, before you, you know, get out the soldering iron and um, and start wiring everything together because uh, we may make some uh, some mods of our own as we go here um, once we get the mock-up done just to um, if you guys submit a comment that is um, that we like that's a good this is why you should order all your parts from fender look all parts one screw <laughs> this, this requires two yeah so don't get it from all parts get it from fender <laughs> All right, so the fender part that's in our dealer portal shopping cart is the Tele Jack Ferrells. They're nine dollars and ninety nine cents, and we've got a, that on the way, and it comes with everything you need. But in the meantime, for the mock up, we had one here from All Parts that was um, in stock in our parts. So to use the electro socket, you'll have to take the little um, the retainer out of there. Um, and it's just a little bent piece of metal. No big deal. <laughs> and the jack screws in to the electrosocket. Yeah, socket. straight up. Let's see that. Whoop. Start left, make sure you don't cross thread. I like a glove. Later we'll pre-drill this, that way it'll sit in nicely. I see, yeah, there's the hole where it kind of drills into the side there. Mm -hmm. Also, I did put a washer underneath our control plate here, just to keep the knobs even. All right, another thing we need to address is, this came from the factory very short, I don't know why. So we'll have to put a um, 
jumper. jumper. A jumper wire on there with a heat shrink. But we can still test fit everything. Yes. And we'll solder it too. We don't just rely just on, on, on heat shrink. So I can see the good news is, is they've already got the, the routes in there channeled through to where yeah. the wires can go. Mm -hmm. Just line up the holes. And then these actually have a uh, flat. Yeah. Right here. Oh my gosh, this is starting to look like a telly now. Already. Oh, beautiful. It's gonna look sick. It's gonna be like a multi-decade telly. So the pick guard is the um, single ply. Yeah, and what 5258 telly pick guard single ply um what do you call that color is like eggshell or what parchment probably yeah i think it's parchment but we're kind of making a telly that's wow cascading from 50s to 60s to 70s yeah it's also if you like though take that neck and just lay it in the pocket yeah just for fun for the gigs loose, yeah. because we're guitar players we don't have patience <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna put strings on it now and just be real, real bummed. Look at that. With this being a vintage style pick guard too, they didn't have those height adjustment screws in the pick guard yet. So later on we'll get the proper screws, put that neck pick up in. So it screws into the body. You'll need a piece of foam underneath there. Just any foam. And like he said, uh, this body came completely blank, so we're gonna have to... Yeah, we're gonna put in holes there to make it all line up right. That's the cool thing, you know, mounting this hardware like this, it kind of lines everything up to where the holes need to be, so. So, I like to take a little tape and tape things down and then mark the holes and then mm -hmm. drill them. Very, very cool. And, you know, as we were talking about pots earlier, Fender has a ton of pot options. Um, as Bryce is um, fitting the plate with the pots. And, you know, you can get any of those pots from us here at the music shop. They've got um, 250K no load solid shaft pots. And um, you can, some of their pots come with the little uh, .022 MF, uh, the 250 volt Microfair. yeah, um, capacitor included. But I mean, we have all these little capacitors in stock as well as options. Um, and we'll list it below, again, comment for what you like, but we'll list below some of the options that we can use for pots. And um, Bryce, with, with volume pots and tone pots, what's your favorite? that you you like um for tellies i like 250 and then i i like the load as much load as possible okay no not really <laughs> but i'm not a huge fan of the no load I, you know yeah for your personal guitar tellies are supposed to be bright but i like dark sounding okay dancers. also we're gonna put on the strap buttons these are also strap lock strap buttons for shaler or fender fender shaler i oh, see yeah they do look a little different but you could also um, put a little piece of felt there to keep the uh, finish looking nice. Finish looking nice, which it does. And on this, nice. it actually is kind of funny how they just they just kind of let you know where they're supposed to be, but they're not drilled all the way through. <laughs> so you may have to pilot drill that a little bit. I think it just started at least. And there's your part part number for the strap buttons. Another fender part. Very affordable. All right, so how are we coming, guys? So we've kind of got everything figured out thus far. Yeah. So thanks for joining us for the mock-up. Uh, again, we'd love for you to like and subscribe. We'd love for you to uh, comment below on different parts that you like, because again, we may uh, call an audible and, and uh, switch out some parts as we go here, just for fun, just to have some experimental um, trials as we build this guitar so part three bryce what are we going to do in part three probably wire up the control plate uh, to the pickups is probably what we'll do okay 
And so, and then at what stage are we gonna do like the pre-drilling um, into the body for um, like pick guard, things like that? After that, because um, we'll have the, the bridge and everything screwed in. Okay. Because like the bridge and neck will help us determine Mm -hmm. I think that's some work with those holes. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. So Bryce, Jake, Sam, Brandon here at allenmusicshop.com and 215 Kentucky Avenue. Uh, we've got all the parts you need to build your own guitar from scratch or to mod your current favorite guitar. Uh, come and see us. Thank you guys. God bless you. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.